I'm Jason Cooper. And I'm Brock Sisson. We're of Dinosaur Company, and we're here to talk about a new theropod that we found, a Torbosaur Tanneri, and compared to a couple other theropods in the Jurassic. So if you come take a look over here, uh, we've got some bones to Allosaurus fragilis and Torbosaurus tanneri to compare our size and shape. So if you look right in here, um, you can see we have left, uh, left and right metatarsals three. This is Torbosaurus and this is Allosaurus. You can see the length isn't much different, but the thickness is double. Um, if much not more, more robust. Much more robust animal. Um, and next to it, we have a, a cast humerus. Uh, left humerus to Allosaurus fragilis. This is a uh, UUVP 6000, so a very large Allosaurus. Um, and this is Torvosaurus tanneri from BYU Earth Science Museum collection um, as reference. And you can see it's structurally much different and much, much more robust. This was a much larger animal. A couple more comparisons. This is a large Allosaurus hand claw and a Torvosaurus hand claw of the same position and at completely different size and much That's, more awesome. Even though this one is still pretty cool, Brock found this one. That's the reason I'm saying that. <laughs> He's a little upset. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have a bunch of the cervicals in the sandbox. This all goes to our Torvosaur. Uh, these vertebrae were found in semi-articulated in the ground. We have um, Vertebrae 5 through 23, all articulated or closely associated. Not all of them are currently in the lineup. This is a cervical rib. These are just a few of the bones. We have a lot of the bones actually were in the process. If you look around, this is some skull components. We're in the process of casting all of the animal that we have. Here's a couple more verts. They're actually really nice. There's not, no painting or anything done on anything yet. This is still an in progress work. Um, over here, Brock has got one of the employees doing what we're calling a mirroring. We have the one astragalus uh, up to one, this left to right. And uh, we're mirroring it over so we match, so we can have uh, both astragalus. So you can see we uh, pay strict attention to uh, accuracy to make sure the bones are identical. Um, we want to make sure that it is scientifically accurate as possible. Um, this is still in process, but uh, as you can see, the shape and size are, uh, are very, very close. And over here, we are molding and casting the femurs. So we found one original femur complete. Um, one of them is, uh, so this is the original over the here, deal. and this is the replica. I uh, can't see much now because they're under the first layer of uh, the molding process. But uh, when they get out in the next video, we'll show you what they look like. And here is cobble number two of the tail. That gives you an idea of the size of this animal. Another nice thing about this specimen is we're seeing a lot of elements to Torvosaurus that uh, are unknown to science. Uh, we have very nice Ischium pubis and Ilia, um, a complete uh, pelvic girdle. girdle. We have a complete girdle. Uh, so we have both Ischia, both pubis, the sacrum, and both Ilia. The That's Ilia are, are over here, and you can see they're very large. Left and right, Ilium. Um, one of them has a little bit of uh, vertical crushing uh, because of the way it was found standing up in the quarry. Uh, but the right Ilia is very complete and un virtually undistorted. And you can just see the, the massive size of this animal's hips. I mean, here's his tape measure for scale. And here is one of the Ischia. Pubis. Or pubis, I'm sorry. As you can see, it has two holes in it. Yeah, the interesting feature is that it, that it has two holes, and that's um, kind of weird for a Jurassic theropod. But it's quite a robust animal. Uh, off we have some... uh, we got a few teeth and stuff over here, too. You know what? Should we uh, grab that other the maximum? Or the pre-max from the torso? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll grab this. 
Here we have, we show you comparison. This tooth here is a large allosaur tooth, well, allosaur for gillis. That is a large tooth. And if you compare it to the torvosaur there, you can, I mean, there's no comparison, no comparison whatsoever. And this is the actual first tooth we found that we realized we had a torvosaur. This is the largest rooted Jurassic theropod tooth that we know of. And as you can see, it's got the characteristic, the, the big serrations going all the way down the one side of the crown, which would be down to about there, and stopping approximately two thirds of the way down on the front side of the crown. And that's nine and five eighths inches long. So this is our baby. So um, another comparison with some skull material. This is a replica from BYU Earth Science Museum's Torosaurus maxilla. This is a large Allosaurus premaxilla, sorry. Um, and you can see on the inside, there's very large teeth in the Allosaurus premaxilla, um, but the Torvosaurus tooth, let me uh, juggle these real quick. Um, you can see it's a size comparison is just, again, we really see that this is a much bigger, more robust animal. So if uh, this is the first video, we're going to be sending more. Uh, once we stand the animal up, we're going to video the whole process, and we're going to put that on YouTube, too, for everyone to see. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact us at torvosaur at gmail.com. Uh, like I said, we're in the process right now of casting and molding. We'll have more skull material to show next time. We'll have the femurs and uh, hopefully a lot more exciting stuff for everyone to see. Thanks.